Right, so we're rolling up to the park, going to meet the man, Yanto Barke. Uh, going to find out who's got here first and who's late. So look at this, I beat Mr. Barker to the meeting point by about 10 seconds. How's it going? Good man, good man, how are you? Very good, nice day for it. Beautiful day, is this your first time cycling weekly vlog? Oh, is it? Yeah, is yeah. it? Is it? Yeah, absolutely. Welcome everybody. Well, you're an honoured guest, mate. Thank you very much. <sighs> I think my legs are going to regret this. <laughs> Today's vlog, we are in Richmond Park. It is a beautiful sunny day, as you can see. And Yanto and myself, we're going to talk you through how best dress, how best how best to dress even, uh, depending on the weather. And that's from winter through to spring through to summer. Uh, and we've got some top tips for you, as well as a top questions, top 20 quick fire questions with Mr. Barker at the end of a coffee. Bit of a ride, mega. Awesome. Job done, let's go. Right, so wearing kit, we probably couldn't have a better person explain to us how to do this than this man right here. Uh, set up his own clothing company, so I think this guy knows literally everything we need to know. So, I mean, it's a beautiful day today, Yanto. Yep. Uh, sunny, it's a little bit cold this morning. Yes. And a lot of people, they, they might just go to a shop. They don't know what cycling kit to buy. Yeah. What, how, would, how would you dress for weather like today? So, that's a good question. I would, I would break it down into three main categories of kit. You've got, it's, gonna, it's cold and it will stay cold. You've got, it's cold but it's going to warm up. And you've got, it's hot and it will stay hot. Uh, probably fourth where it's hot and it will get cold again. So in the first category you've got winter kit which is not going to change. You're just going to put a proper jacket on, proper tights on, uh, arm warmers, not arm warmers, but uh, gloves, overshoes, proper thick under vest and you're going to go out and you're going you're to stay warm. In, on a day like today it looks a lot warmer than it is, that's the first thing. So don't be fooled by a little bit of sunshine, it's still... It was April. cold this morning, wasn't it? Very cold, yeah. Uh, I think single digit you know, temperatures. So, removable kit is really important for this time of year. Arm warmers, leg warmers, knee warmers, gilet, overshoes, thin gloves uh, that you can all take off halfway through because if we are out for say three or four hours today, midday, it's going to be nearly 20 degrees. It's really warm today. That's a completely different temperature, that's a different ride. The other thing to think about is how fast you're going to ride because what uh, probably less experienced riders don't really take into consideration is if I ride at a really easy tempo. I'm not generating any heat. So what that means is I need more clothing to keep me warm. As soon as we start doing our hot lap, which we're going to do later and see <laughs> what you've got in the tank, well what we've both got in the tank, then all of a sudden above 300 watts, which is like a high tempo, you're going to generate a lot of heat, you're going to sweat even if it's cold and you just need to know that you don't need as much clothing. But if you've still got a long way to go after you've finished, let's say, an intense session, then you need to redress with all the warm stuff that hopefully you put in your pocket and you've still got with you. Perfect. And the new, beautiful, 2019 Lacolle Summer Jersey, which we will talk to you about a little bit later on. So what did I say? Look, gets to lunchtime, it's sunny, now it's warm. Arm one was off, knee one was off, gilet is long gone, and now it's roasting, and I'm getting a tan. Nutella or speculoos? Nutella. Favourite pizza? Uh, ham and cheese. <laughs> Most essential piece of cycling kit, one. My shorts. Otherwise I'll be naked. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, cap peak, here we go. Up or down? Front or back. Ooh, okay. Because it makes a difference. It does make a difference. Front first. Down. Back. Up. There we go, remember that one. Your number one cycling fashion, cardinal sin. <laughs> I was on a ride recently with uh, a bunch of young kids, I will call them. They were adults, but they were kids. With their socks over their tights. Whoa! Do you want to know what my next question is? <laughs> you ready for this? Socks over or under leg warmers? Under. Under! Who on earth? That shouldn't Rock. even be a question. It shouldn't. It's utterly abysmal. Okay. No, it's, it's not. It's okay. It's, it's just not wrong. right. It's, it's just not wrong. right. 
The one thing that you wouldn't leave the house without on a bike ride. Probably with telephone, to be honest. Favourite race? Do you know what? I would probably say Rutland Mountain. Really? Yeah, the Rutland Classic. Not Paris Bay. No, I mean, yes, of course I like watching, but I guess I was answering from races that I've done and I haven't ridden Paris Bay. Okay. The best rider of all time? Uh, I think there's only one answer for that one, uh, Eddie Burks. Favourite rider of current generation? Good question. I like Bob Yongles. Love Bobby Ongles. Massive fan. I'm an Alaphilippe fan, mate. Best victory celebration. So you can demonstrate to us, Yante. Um, uh, Michelle Bartoli, who used to like doing a... Isn't that a flex? An arrow. No, he also did that as well, but yeah, Michele Bartoli. Two of them. Yeah. Ooh, funniest teammate. Ah, uh, good question. I've got some good ones this morning. Yeah, I? funniest teammate. Maybe Chris Opie. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Best coach? Steve Benson. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. I knew you were going to say that. He's the best coach of all time. So there we go. There's a big thumbs up to Steve Benton there. So if any of you want coaching out there, then you know where to go. Best interval session. I think I can answer this. <laughs> Bentivals. <laughs> yeah. So there's two, actually. When I say best, I mean worst as well. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, yeah well, no and I'll describe, and I'll exactly describe good, them to you, exactly. I'll describe them to you, because they are literally ridiculous. Prescribed by Steve. So one of them is a short session, can be done in a short ride, and the other one is a long session. Uh, the short session is um, five times, with seven minutes between them, two minutes max sustainable intensity, doesn't matter what the numbers are, two minutes max sustainable Just intensity. Full gas, yeah, no 100%. numbers. Right, okay. You you literally set off, you sprint, and you stay sprinting as long as you can, and then you keep holding it for two minutes. Then you take 30 seconds rest, and you can literally freewheel, and after two minutes max effort, you are literally gasping. And then you do three and a half minutes at threshold, which is savage, 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 savage. And you do that five times, seven minutes between. Guaranteed you will improve. Guaranteed, guaranteed. Right, that's the first one. And the second one, which is probably the most painful session of my entire life, is a five hour ride. Yeah, go on. Every hour, 12 minute max TT effort. And the reason why it's so Ooh. savage is you do the first session and you know what you can do for 12 minutes when you're when you're a pro or when you're a full time. <clears throat> you know what you can do for 12 minutes. You, you normally get close to it in the first one. You normally do a really good one in the second one. So in the second hour, because you're not too tired, you've warmed up, and then third, fourth, and fifth, naturally the ride's getting longer. It's harder and harder. Third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour. You are getting tired anyway, and you just cannot do the same power. So sometimes you're 100, 150 watts off what you know you can do for 12 minutes, and it really screws with your head, but you get better. Uh, next one, solo ride or group ride? So I would have said solo until recently. I rate a group ride, mate. Yeah, well, I, I would have said solo ride. because I like to go fast. I haven't got much time. I'm running a business, I've got a family, and so I have to make the most of it. But recently I found a club. Can I give a shout out to my club? Of course you can, mate, of course you can. The Onyx Club, who go out and we do team time trial. It could be an hour and a half, it could be three and a half, it could be five and a half hours. It is 100% Max speed, team time trial, single file, full on, full gas. Mega. Love it. Absolute quality ride, guys. Absolute quality. <laughs> Favourite country to ride in? Oh, that is a good one. I mean, there are there are genuinely so many. Uh, I think Italy is probably getting up there. Yeah, but, but to be fair, France has got some amazing places. Yeah. And, and so I was in Yorkshire just the other day looking at the world's course. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was like today, it was blue sky. It's stunning. There is mm. nowhere better mm. in the world. Leg shaving or waxing? Well, I've never waxed. Mm. So I wouldn't be able to answer, so it's a shame. Mm. Aero or round tube bike? And I mean, bearing in mind, we're Aero. both riding. Really? Yeah. So, unfortunately, recently Not I had a bike. C64. <clears throat> well, I had a bike stolen recently, and that was. Uh, an aero bike. Really? Yeah, so I've, I, I'm not complaining about my C64, I love it, and it's my it's lovely iconic. Lacole bespoke colourway, but I am an aero bike man. I like to go fast. Play, I'd go round you, me. Steel? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Favourite cafe in London, these are quick. Uh, grind. Okay, uh, best bike shop in London? 
Oh, Sigma, easy. Sigma. Mm, I rate Sigma a lot. Uh, I would go the Velo Barn yeah. in Kent. That's yeah. my local. Okay, maybe, really yeah. good. Really I mean, good. Sigma's big and sexy, so it is big and sexy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Uh, who's going to win the Tour de France this year? Chris Froome. Ooh. I'm going to go Garant me. Yeah. And final question: Who would win in a sprint at me and you? Um, me. Oof. <laughs> I reckon we should go and find out. See you on the road. Oh dear. He's got his excuse for losing the sprint in a minute. It's fate, this is. His little pump can't quite get the same PSI as a track pump. So I reckon Yanto did this on purpose. Slashed my tyres. He felt threatened. He's like, <laughs> I've got to make sure. Win at any cost. Win at any cost, James. There's no rules out training. It's not like UCI's here to help you. <laughs> <laughs> You're an arse. <laughs> All right, here we go. Getting scared now. On the wheel. Honestly, what a sight. Colnago, Colnago. The most handsome bikes in Richmond Park right now. Along with the two most handsome blokes as well. <laughs> right, so my puncture fixing didn't go particularly well. Uh, I think I had a little bit of loose flints like there somewhere and it's going down again unfortunately so i'm gonna to have to go to a bike shop get it fixed properly by the pros then i'm gonna to have to come and join yanto back in the park he's gonna be doing laps warming up ready to see if he can roll me in the sprint i'm feeling pretty good though so who knows i might get the victory just one last time so uh, thanks guys for doing this no worries <laughs> legends literally walked in the shop um, I said I've got an SOS, I, my rear tyre is blown, no tube, can you help me out? And literally in a split second, they're on the bike like a rash. Uh, so if that's not good service, then I don't know what is. So uh, mega, big up Richmond Cycles, if you're in the area, come check them out. Right, puncture repair now for the second time. Mr Barker's warmed up, he's already got the wheel on. Nice bit of throwing off. Who's gonna win? So we made it to our second calf stop, Yanto. How are you feeling? Proper bike ride, this. Proper bike ride. I mean, you've got more calf stops than, wow. Kilometers. Yeah, more calf stops than <laughs> kilometers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although by what you've just seen, you can see that we rode at least, well, a slightly more than two kilometers. Yeah. Uh, finished off with our sprint. And yeah. unfortunately, Yanto rolled me. Mm, um, well, I did say it, didn't I? You, honor, did. Uh, you did. If I said it, then I have to do it. That's the way it works. Yeah, I did lead you out though. So, well, I actually timed the turns to make sure you were on the front. I did see that. Sprint, yeah. Not an accident. The thing is, I wasn't particularly confident winning the sprint, so I thought what I don't want to do is let him lead it out and then just ride away from me. That'd be really embarrassing. <laughs> so, at least if I lead it out, then you just think that he's slightly quicker than me, and obviously he had an advantage because he was sat in the wheel for the last K. Put it, put it down to experience, though. Mate. Yeah. Anyway, a wins a win, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, Le Col New Summer Jersey. Tell us about it. Yeah, this is the special edition, this one. Uh, I'm actually really pleased with it. Well, well you gotta, you got to imagine that, you know, I see a lot of kit and we make a lot of de designs. And realistically, I like all of our kit already. Mm. So when it comes to trying to make it better, it's not as easy as it sounds, you know. I already feel like I've made it good. But the little tweaks that we make and the little changes, like there's adjustments to the seam lines, there's adjustments to this fabric here. It just adds up. Mm. It just really makes me satisfied. And it's about making sure we keep moving the brand on. And we've done that with this jersey. And there's a few other jerseys that we're not wearing, but that are also new into the range. You should definitely have a look. They, like, I'm proud of them. I put my name to them. And we spent a lot of time developing and improving them. So what makes this jersey different to last year then? Uh, different fabric. 
uh, different seam lines. Slightly longer arms, they say. Yeah, slightly longer arms. Yeah, that's you know that's a feature that you know it's not a huge. You know, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel, not trying to reinvent the jersey, but we are just trying to adapt and adjust and improve, and that's what we've done right, iteratively. All right now, obviously, you launched these jerseys at the Mallorca Media Camp uh, not too long ago, which I was very, very privileged to go along to. Um, what is? Tell us the purpose of the Media Camp. What is it for? Like, what? How does it benefit you, and how does it benefit the journalists? Really good question. I'm glad you asked. It's about having one-on-one -on -one time to share the authenticity of the brand, the purpose and objectives in our design directly to the people like you who are going to talk about it, create videos on it and write about it. So as you've heard it from the horse's mouth and it's not hearsay, hearsay or this or that or the other rumours or that kind of thing because a lot of that potency of the brand, of the core brand integrity is lost if it's not directly communicated and you're hearing it from the founder you know, whose passion and love for this brand and this product is 100%. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important that we get an opportunity to share that. I think that's what ultimately shines through. Like it's all very easy to bring new products out and shove it down journalists' throats. But what I personally found very special about that media camp was that it wasn't just one person who came along. It was pretty much the whole company. And it's about getting an understanding as to like what the company's core values are. There go. Cool. I think that's us done. Um, it's been a pleasure, James. Thanks, thanks very much. Thanks very much, man. It's been yeah. awesome. It's been nice to nice to ride yeah. again. Just like old times. Just like old times. I mean, I was slightly more hopeful that I could have rolled in the sprint. Didn't happen, but I think we'll have to have a Yanto and James burn up take two. Uh, but for now, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Give Yanto a thumbs up for obviously burning me in the sprint. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. Turn notifications on and we'll see you soon. Have a good one.